St. George Greek Orthodox Church on Truxton Avenue found two holes the size of a loaf of bread beneath their stained glass window. 23 ABC's Cassie Carlisle is at the church tonight live with the expense and why a next door eyesore may be to blame. Yes, just six weeks ago, all of these windows were first boarded up, but folks close to the church hope this weekend and a little faith could bring the light back. I was married in this church. Kelly Demestahas joined the church at 18. My children were both baptized in this church. And is now a Sunday school teacher there. Our whole life revolves around this church. After vandals threw cement bricks through their stained glass windows July 17th, Sundays have been different. I mean, we treasure them. We tre those are all pictures of saints that we hold in our guard in our church. and. To not see the light coming through there, it's kind of symbolic. Now the church is going to spend thousands to fix the two watermelon-sized holes. It's not cheap. It's about ten thousand uh, dollars. Fortunately, it was, like I said, only two two big holes, not the entire windows. They're also looking at putting up an acrylic window over the glass to protect it, which is another ten grand. But that's money Demestahas says would be better used for repairing and refurbishing the 50 year old building. Do something every summer is kind of what our plan has been for the last few years. And this summer we were hoping to carpet upstairs, and then the windows got broken. So we're kind of putting those things on the background. The church believes squatters living next door could be behind the vandalism. The church filed a police report, but the department says their case is closed unless someone comes forward.